Hi there, all you lovely people out in UKB land. Dex here. What I'm going to try and do tonight on this is the first tutorial I've ever done, uh, a video one anyway, is to show you how to re wick the EVOD in cotton on the existing coil. Now, what I want to do is go from one end to the other, from beginning to end. Um, so, we're back vaping again at the end of this uh, tutorial. Now I should probably make a right tip myself, or even the left one for that matter, but just bear with me and see how we go. Now, here we have EVOD on a BAMO, I'll just uh, check the ohms on that, see what it's saying. 3.9, that's a bit daft, let's give it a little squeak and see what else we've got on there. 2.5, that's better, well that was all about, but there we are. See I told you this is live as we go. Yeah, 2.4, that's better. So it's still running. So what we need to do is take the head off. So we take the e-rod off the bamboo like so. Now, what we do is now we take the head and base off together. It's going to be a bit soggy because I've been vaping it. Right, and just put that to one side. Tip out any juice if there's any in there. There is a bit in there. Tip that out. Get rid of that. Tip. Leave that to one side. Leave that a little white. Put that to one side. Now I can't bring the sink to here. So what I've done, because I like to give it a little rinse off to get the uh, juice off, I put a little tub of water here to do it. Just slash that around. Just rock it about a bit. Get rid of that. Right, move that to one side. Get some paper towel. Dry it off. Like so. Get a bit down there, just give it a dry out. A little blow through. Like that. Right, find that any excess up. Now, what we need to do now is to just disassemble this head down to the wick. So we get the uh, little rubber guy off the top, or silicon guy off the top. Now we need to get this post out. They can be buggers, but if you find it is a bit stiff, just get a pliers and just give it a little wiggle. You can be gentle with it, but just move it about like that, and it usually comes away. There we go, like that. Put it to one side. Now this is a a, a supplied wick, manufacturer wick, and they're usually crap. So we just lift off the uh, what some people call the flavour wick, or the uh, I call it the top wick. Or the piggyback wick, and there inside is the wick and coil. These usually fall apart when you get hold of them. So if they find you a bit tough, just pull out a strand like that to one side, and another strand like so, and then the whole lot come out like that. See it fall a bit? Pile of crap. Right, anyway, get that one out of that side. Okay, that's looking good. Give it a tap, make sure we've got all the crud out. Get that in there. Now, if you find it's a bit slack in there, get out your trusty cotton. There it is. Pull it out. Cocktail stick. Give it a shove. Everything's pretty clear now. And just pull out any bits and pieces. These wicks are terrible. Don't need to get away with it. I've got everything all out, that's it, all out now. Blow through, get a nice clean out. There we are, now all clean. Now, what we need to do, I'll put that through there just to show you where the. See that? That's the coil, existing coil that came with the guy. Right, now then. If you want to at this point, although this head's fairly new, so I'm not too worried about it, but if you've been using it two or three weeks and you want to clear the gunk away, give it a dry burn. Before you do that, check the uh, yep. Give it a little pulse. Another pulse. There, yeah, give it a glow, lovely. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's looking quite good. <laughs> Make sure it's cool. Twist off. Slam that on one side. Now, what we need to do now is make our wick. So, what I use is cotton pads. 
He's a um, cosmetic cotton pads from a, a very large supermarket. <laughs> got that. All right. Now they come like oval shaped, and what you want to do is cut across the middle of the shorter length, like so. This is cut across the middle, like that. Hope you can see this all right. And then yeah, so this get that sort of see that that sort of length, that sort of width rather. Cut to the end and away. Now, some people tend to pull them apart before cutting. I like to do it after. I find it easier. All right. Now, we get rid of those two bits. Put them to one side. Now, what we need to do now is pull this apart because it's a bit too thick. There's too much cotton there is what it is. Now, if you start to pull it, you'll find that you notice that one side is thinner than the other. See that it starts to move away from itself like that. Now. That looks like the thin side, so we'll pull that away and work down with it. See, come down with it. All the way down. Hope you can see this alright. Now, now that's a thin bit, so we don't need that, we get rid of it. Now, what we do now is we need to twist this. Don't pull it at this point, because if you do it, fall apart. Just twist. 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 Like so. See that twisting up nicely? Twist. Twist. Twisty, twisty, twist. Let's twist again. Did I do that? Did I really do that? Okay, let's twist. And it starts to form a wick like so. Look, see that? See how we're going? So keep twisting. Like so. Right the way to the end. You can turn over and twist. So you get it right, nice and even all the way along. Okay, now. We've got to get that through there. Now obviously at the moment, it's too thick. So what we need to do is just make a point the end to thread through like you're threading through a cotton through a needle. So what I do is I lick my fingertips and tweak the end. Now you can twist it quite hard, keep twisting to get a nice, nice thin pointy bit to go through the wick, like, uh, the coil sorry, like that. Okay, there she goes, looking good. Uh, right, that looks pretty good. We'll give that a go. All right. So now we need to thread it through. It's like threading a needle through cotton. And I've got a bit of a see that I've got a little bit on the end now. Just trim that little pointy bit off the end. That's it, like that. That's it. Get rid of that. Now twist it up. So what you're doing basically is threading this bit of cotton through the coil, which should be sitting in the right spot because you just remove the old one. Okay. So we go through, and as you go through, twist. It twists, it goes right through out the other side, no problem. Once it's through the other side, you can twist it through like that. If it fills out getting a bit too thick, give it another twist like so. Twist, tighten it up a bit. Now that should, that's looking good, that's looking in a good spot. So there it's sitting there. Okay, you don't need to pull it all the way through, but just pull it through enough so you get past this bit you've twiddled about with. Okay. That's a bit grubby, if you want. Now, make sure at this point that the coil is sitting good. A lot of people, they just put it all back together again. They might have tugged the coil to one side. So just give it a little shove. Make sure you're not touching the sides. See that? That's looking pretty good. Yep, I think I'll go with that. Can you see that? Right, now. Next thing is we need to trim the wig. So how I do it is I get... Scissors come up at an angle from the base, trim. Up an angle from the base, whoop, and drop it, trim. That's that trim nicely down. Okay, that's looking good. Just uh, make sure it's not touching the sides there. Look, see? Make sure you're all nice and clear from the sides. You can do this, you can maneuver it about a bit, get it right there. Okay. Now the next bit we need to do is to put on the top wick, or the flavour wick if you like. So you can use the same uh, wick that you were using, right? And tug a bit off, or cut a bit off, whichever you prefer. I'll cut a bit like that. Like that, doesn't matter if it's a bit bigger. Don't worry about that too much. Give it a tweak, like that. Give it a twist. Hope you can see this all right. And then sit that on the top. Oh, no, that's it. 
bit bulgy that side, so I'm going to give it another tweak, make sure it's nice and tidy. Sit that on the top, like so. See that? Just sit on the top. Now, you can put your post back in. Like so. Give it a little shove. A little bugger to get back in. There we go. That's it. Right, that's back in. Give it a good push, so it's nice and tight. See that? Nice and tightly done. Like that. Okay. Now, you can trim the top wick off. You need to go around the side of it like this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I hope so. Trim around the side from the top. That's what I usually do anyway. Trim. Make sure it's all sitting nice. So what do you think? That looks pretty good. Yeah. Just make sure that that post is sitting in nice and tight like that. Yeah, that's good. Now. Um, before you put your rubber gizmo back on, right, give it these wicks a little soak, a little drip in there, just a little drip on either side, a couple of drips maybe, just so that the wick starts to starts to take up the the juice. All right, like that. Put that on one side. Put on your your rubber gizmo. Some people leave it sitting up a bit, but I always shove it home, make sure it's okay. Now that, in effect, is re-wicked, ready to go. So what we need to do now is fill up, refill our e-bod. I always fill it straight, sitting up straight with the angle, of the needle at the angle. What juice I'm using here, let's double check, is uh, 30 PG, 70 VG, 15 mils, this is what makes me sell, tobacco flavouring for a minute. Okay, now, put this guy back on here, give it a screw up, nice and tight, boop. Give it a wipe with a wet wipe. Have a little. Yep, yeah, that sounds quite clear. Now we'll put this back on here. Back on your, your Vamo. And hopefully, give it a little test. 2.5, that's not bad. Alright, we'll run it at 6 watts for the minute. So what I'm going to do now is going to get a bit wiggly here. Because I'm, I want to show you that I haven't done anything untoward. Because I want to see if it vapes right from the outside. I'm glad we, uh, we do it here. Like that. And there you've got my ugly mug. Uh -huh. Hello. Right, now let's see. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the first draw. Bit light on flavour. No, nope, it's coming through now. Good vape. Lots of vapour coming through. There we are. So that is done from beginning to end. And within 10 minutes we've re-wicked and we're vaping again. Uh oh, here we go. What do you want? See this? Yeah. Who's that? Anti shiny. Thank you, dear. Bye bye. Hey folks, see you again. Bye. Hope this helps, by the way. Bye.